From Soldiers Radio and Television, this is the Army Today, a daily feature from around the globe. The program executive officer combats the tactics of coalition forces' enemies just as fast as they come up with them. One of their latest products is already paying dividends. Staff Sergeant Ross Cox's experience with the pelvic protection system is living proof. I know that it played a huge part in my injuries based on what I've been told. Sergeant Cox fell victim to a dismounted improvised explosive device while on patrol in Afghanistan. I just, the next thing I hear is a boom and I'm just looking, I'm laying on my back looking up in a tree and I see my knee pad and all I'm thinking, I'm just going, you know, that's not good. That is not good. His injuries were severe. My, my medic, he said, hey, your, uh, your left leg is gonna be amputated. Uh, your right leg is broken but it should be good, and your right arm is fine, it's just cut open. I said, good. While taking this news in stride, he focused on other body parts. I don't think it was the first thing that I asked, but I, and I don't think it was the last thing. I just knew that I asked it. And then I was like, how are my, how are my, uh, how are my privates? How, how are my boys? And I looked down and you know, I didn't have any pain there. And he said, You're, and those are okay. Not a bad deal for wearing the pelvic protection system for the first time. I know that piece of equipment is a very important piece of equipment and it'd be like uh, leaving without your weapon and, and I hope that, that getting this out there will really uh, put, put some thought to make the decision on what to wear and what not to wear and when to wear it and when not to. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television.